Hi friends, this is the lecture number two. Uh, today we will explain you the square matrix. Okay, so what is the square matrix? <coughs> okay, so if number of rows, number of rows is equal to number of column, it means that M is equal to N. Both are equal, then we have written N into N. If you have such type of matrix, then you will say that this is the square matrix. Now you can see that here I have written AIG. <coughs> Representation of this matrix I have written AIG. That is the short form of this matrix. Rather than write this big matrix, I have written this one. Both are same. Here I means you will put I is equal to 1, I is equal to 2, I is equal to 3, up to so on. J is equal to 1, J is equal to 2, J is equal to 3, up to so on. It means that at first you will use the... <coughs> You will put i is equal to 1, then after then you will put j is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to so on n. If you have studied the programming language, then you will use i is equal to 1, i is less than equal to n, and i plus plus. Then this is the first one, this is the j is equal to 1, and j is less than equal to n, and j plus plus. Okay, then after then you have written a i j. Okay. So, this is the representation of AIJ. At first, this loop will work. J, uh, this, uh, okay, I have written something wrong here. Okay, no problem. Okay, so at first, the uh, loop uh, I is equal to 1 will work, uh, work. Then J is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to so on. Means its meaning is this. At first, I is equal to 1. Okay, then J is equal to 1 to, 1 to N. So, at first, J is equal to 1 then j is equal to 2, then j is equal to 3, up to so on, j is equal to n. So, <clears throat> this is the first representation, it has come here. Then next line, for next line you will use slash n, okay. Then after then, i is equal to 2, then a, 2, then j is equal to 1 to n will work. a1, then a2, 2, a2, 3, up to so on, a2, n. So, this is the second row, it has come. So, that is the short form of representation such type of big matrix okay <coughs> so now <coughs> i am coming here what is the square matrix a square matrix means if number of rows and column both are same then you will say this is the square matrix this is the square matrix one two three four this is the square matrix one two three four five six seven eight nine you can put any value this is 3 into 3 matrix, this is 2 into 2 matrix, this is a square matrix, this is a square matrix. If row and column both are same, then you will say that you will say that this is the square matrix. Okay. Now, now the question is what is the maximum and minimum dimension of square matrix? Maximum and minimum dimension. Okay. Dimension. What is the maximum and minimum dimension of a square matrix. So maximum dimension means how many elements can be placed in this square matrix. You can see that total number of elements can be placed are n into n. Okay. If you have put many elements here, how many maximum element can place? That is n into n. Okay. So total number of maximum element can be placed in a square matrix. Maximum number of elements maximum number of elements are n square and minimum number of element minimum number of elements are is equal to zero how you have seen also null matrix means if all elements are zero then you will say that this is the null matrix you can see that here only 0, 0, 0 I have placed. Okay, everywhere we have 0 we have placed. So only one number. Number means 1, 2, 3 up to so on infinite. Real number, real line you can say that. There are infinite number of elements. So how many elements we have picked from this real number or complex number? Only one element we have picked. Okay, so one element we have picked, it means that for the null matrix, the minimum number of element can be placed uh, in a square matrix that is only 1. So, this is the dimension of minimum 
number of element and this is the dimension of maximum number of element this is very important okay so now okay thank you so much we will